Welcome back guys. In this video, let us have a small gaming session. That is, let us have a quiz. So I'll try, I'll provide you the question and uh, just pass the question, just pass the video for five minutes and try to answer the question to check your knowledge. So let us have the first question. So I hope you watched the previous videos. So let us have the questions. Now the question is, Question one is, so what is client? For this, you pass the video and try to answer this question. I hope you pass the video and you again replay the video. So let me answer this question. Client, it is nothing but a device. So client is a device. So what it will do, sir? is which request which request a resource which request a resource client is nothing but a device which request a resource okay so let us move with another question so let us move with another question question two so now the question is what is our what is server? So now the answer is now try to answer this question one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I hope you passed the video and again played the video. Now the answer is server is also a device. Server. Server is a device. Again, server is also a device. Why do we use it, sir? Server is a device which responds to the particular request. What does it do, sir? Which responds to the particular request. So it responds to the particular request. That is what server is. Okay. Now let us move for another question. Let us move for another question. That is question three. So now if this client wants to communicate in one tier architecture, so let us have some questions on architectures or else in general, we can have some, have a question. If a client, if a client want, if a client want to communicate with this if a client want to communicate with this server let's say if a client want to communicate with the server will they both that means the client as well as the server to be in a same network the question is if a client want to connect with, if a client want to communicate with the server, do the client as well as server need to be in a same network? Okay, now the question is, if a client want to communicate with the server, will both client and server need to be in same network? Is the question. So I hope you have an answer for it. So let me provide to it. Yes. Both need to be in same network is the correct answer. I hope you provided the correct answer only. So let's move on to another question. Let's move on to another question. Question four. It is. How many architectures we have? How many client server architectures we have? How many client server architectures we have? We have mainly three types of architectures. We have mainly three types of architectures. So now the next question, that is fifth question. What are they? 
what are they that means what are the client server architectures we have they are one tier one tier architecture two tier architecture and three tier architecture we have we have these three types of architectures we have in client server architectures okay now a last question a last question on this one tier architecture that is that is do we use do we use this one tier architecture in real time do we use this one tier architecture on real time do we use this one tier architecture on real time no no because this one tier architecture in this one tier architecture both client and server both client and server present in a single layer in a single machine now the question is so let's have some more questions so that it will be much more clear to you so in this client server architecture in one tier architecture can you tell me how many layers how many layers are present in one tier architecture how many layers are present in one tier architecture and what are there and what are they so in one tier architecture it only contains it only contains one layer it only contains one layer that is what server layer that layer is what server layer so in this in this um, client and server layer you can say client layer as well as server layer now the question is is client layer and server layer both are present in same machine for single tier architecture yeah both server and client are present in same layer in same machine in single tier architecture now the final question is in single tier architecture in single tier architecture is it possible is it possible for a client who who is from other laptop or else other system can able to can want to connect to the other system that means where the server is hosted is it possible no because why because because server is hosted in local host so that's why whenever server is hosted in local host it is only accessible to that machine only where the server is hosted there only client can able to access from other machine he cannot able to access that application so that's why this one tier architecture is not suitable for real time and production environment i hope you understood and you answered the quiz questions of based on client server architecture and client and server and then single tier architecture so see you back in the next video until then bye bye